a federal judge says a woman's lawsuit against Subway can move forward, refusing the restaurant chain's request to dismiss the suit that alleges its tuna sandwich is partially or wholly lack tuna. Plaintiff Nalima Almin of Alameda County, California, says Subway misled her and other consumers by saying its sandwiches and other products contain tuna and 100% tuna. A men's lawsuit cites a marine biologist who analyzed 20 samples of tuna offerings from 20 different Subway restaurants and found no. But, Amin says, the samples did contain other types of animal DNA, such as from chicken and pork. Subway asked U.S. District Judge John Tiger to dismiss the case saying in part that its tuna sandwich routinely includes other ingredients, such as mayonnaise, which contains eggs. Subway also says a reasonable consumer watching a sandwich artist prepare their order would recognize that there is a chance for cross-contact between various ingredients. But Tiger recently ruled that Amin's lawsuit should continue, saying the facts at the heart of the case aren't settled. He also noted that some of the allegations refer to ingredients that a reasonable consumer would not reasonably expect to find in a tuna product. As that quote suggests, the case centers on what consumers expect when they order a tuna sandwich. The word tuna appears 244 times in the plaintiff's two. Amin is seeking a jury trial and class action status for her lawsuit, which accuses Subway of fraud, false advertising and unfair competition. The suit seeks restitution, punitive damages and disgorgement of all ill-gotten gains from Subway, one of the top grossing restaurant chains in the U.S. in response to a request from NPR, a Subway spokesperson insisted on the integrity of its fish sandwich, stating, Subway serves 100% tuna. Of in response to the allegations, Subway has maintained that it uses wild-caught skipjack tuna regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, as the company states on a special website it created called SubwayTunaFacts.com. Subway says the Times report is false, and relies on a type of DNA test that can't reliably determine whether a food sample contains tuna, particularly if the meat has been cooked and processed.